Starting off this countdown, we have the NSA spy hubs. We all know that the NSA is spying on us, okay? That's old news. I mean, in 2013, former contractor for the CIA, Edward Snowden, revealed that the NSA was collecting phone records of millions of Americans and spying on us through our phone calls. Well, it turns out they have multiple top secret bases. Half of them, we don't even know where they're located. We just know that they're out there. Somewhere. These spy hubs are often windowless skyscrapers. There are some in Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, and of course, Washington DC. These buildings though, aren't regular buildings. No, no, of course not. They are highly secure and guarded. In fact, they are built to withstand terrorist attacks, nuclear attacks, and natural disasters. So not only do we not know where they're located, we don't know what they're doing in all of these hubs besides spying on American citizens. So you better behave. They're watching. Always watching. <laughs> Moving on to number nine, we have Diego Garcia. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. Diego Garcia is a US occupied small island in the Indian Ocean. Technically, it's an overseas territory of Great Britain. In 1966, the people on the island were employed as contract farmers. They were working on coconut plantations. But from 1968 to 1973, the farm workers were kicked off the island by the UK government so that the US slash UK military could have a joint base on the island. So in 1966, the United States was given the rights to use the island if they forgot about the 14 million debt that the UK owed them. Now the island is used by government officials and it's highly, highly guarded. In fact, rumor has it that the island is home to a secret prison. Rumor also has it that the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 that went missing without a trace actually just landed on this island. Not only that, but apparently rumor has it that this base is used by the CIA to torture prisoners. There's some crazy theories out there. I hope one day we'll find out if any of them are true. Then in 2009, the US military evicted several thousand of the island's local residents. Why they did this is still so top secret. Like they don't know why they got evicted. I really wish we knew. Something fishy is going on over there. Coming in at number eight, we have the Dugway Proving Ground. Located in Utah, the Dugway Proving Ground is the main biological and chemical weapons testing site for the US Army. Like who knows how many and what kinds of dark deadly weapons they are building and testing there. The base also contains top secret US military research documents, which is one of the reasons why the government doesn't want you to know about it. Now, in 1968, the unbelievable happened at the base. On March 13th, a high-speed jet sprayed 320 gallons of Nerve Gas VX around the air in a test. This is so deadly that 10 milligrams can kill people. It'll stop your respiratory muscles from working and then you'll just choke to death. Anyways, it sprayed in an area near a farm. The next day, thousands of sheep were found dead. The government denied that this was their fault, but people aren't buying it. Either way, they paid the rancher who lost his sheep over $300,000 and tried to keep the situation hush hush. So the government definitely doesn't want us to know any of that, so, but I know it and I shared it with you. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, we have Camp Perry. Camp Perry, otherwise called The Farm, is a top secret training facility run by the CIA. The place is used to train CIA officers as well as officers working in the Defense Intelligence Agency. One of the reasons why this place is so secretive is because they don't want the identity of their top secret agents to be leaked. Because then, hello, they wouldn't be secret agents anymore, would they? Now, listen to just how intense this camp is. So former CIA officer Bill Wagner went to a three week interrogation course at the farm in 1970. He revealed that the people learning to be good interrogators practiced techniques such as sleep deprivation, mock execution, and would deliberately taint food, which exposes that CIA interrogators use these techniques in real life. Of course, the US government has never formally acknowledged the existence of this camp. 
although many people know that it's real. Coming in at number six, we have Area 51. Of course, I had to put this one on the list. Hello, everyone wants to know what the heck is going on at that top secret base. Like, are the rumors true? Do they really have animals hiding there? Are they conducting unethical tests on humans? Area 51 is home to a number of conspiracy theories because it's so highly protected and secretive. Seriously, people have gotten killed for trying to even get close to the building. This has led a lot of people to believe that the military is up to something. What do you think goes on in Area 51? Let me know in the comments below. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Sherman Kent School for Intelligence Analysis. This is a training school in Reston, Virginia for CIA analysts. The school has been given the nickname The Vault because of how many locks and alarms and guards it has. So basically, the school opened in May of 2000 and it apparently teaches members many important things, such as foreign languages, regional studies, satellite image analysis, wiretap transcript analysis, and media report analysis. So basically, everything you think a spy would need to know. This place is basically spy school, which is super cool. Now, like all places on this list, this one is also heavily guarded. It is located on the second floor of a five-story structure. The glass windows are smoked to prevent people from looking in and spying. The building also contains sensors to prevent eavesdropping from outside. And like I said, it's protected by a number of locks and alarms and surveillance. In our fourth spot, we have Menwith Hill. Menwith Hill is a Royal Air Force base located in the UK. In fact, it is said to be one of the most secretive places in the UK. First off, the place is super odd. Like, there's a bunch of white domes all over the place that look like giant golf balls. Like, I feel like it's just the government's own mini putt or golfing range or something like that, but it's not. This site is said to be the largest electronic monitoring system on the planet. So basically, it's a place where they spy on us, monitoring our every move. The site first opened to spy on the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Since then, we don't know exactly what they're spying on. But it's a vital part of the NSA surveillance network. In 2012, it was believed that the base was involved in a number of drone attacks. However, this has never been confirmed. On top of that, it was revealed that the NSA used the base to, and I quote, aid a significant number of capture kill operations. That is terrifying, wow. Moving on to number three, we have Kapustin Yar. Kapustin Yar is basically Russian's version of Area 51. It is a top secret base created by the USSR. It was used for developing the Soviet space program. But now, rumor has it that it is home to aliens. Apparently, people saw a large red sphere flying in the sky right above this base. Others claim to have seen three-eyed aliens wearing silver overalls there. I mean, hey, at least he's stylish. In fact, most alien sightings in Russia occur near this top secret base. Coincidence? I think not. It could be that aliens are trying to escape from this base or something like that. There's even rumors of this base being used to conduct alien autopsies. It's pretty creepy. I don't even want to know if I want to find out what goes on in there. In our second spot, we have the Secret Super Command Bunker. Apparently, the Pentagon is planning to build a secret command bunker 3,500 feet under Washington, D.C. What's the purpose of this bunker, you ask? Well, just in case of nuclear war, the bunker will keep people safe from the nukes. Apparently, the pandemic shook the U.S. government and now they, and I quote, put plans in place to ensure critical elements of the US government can keep functioning in the midst of an extreme crisis. So they're basically gonna be like, sick, every man for themselves, peace out, and then just disappear into this secret bunker. And in our number one spot, we have Porton Down. Close to Stonehenge, there's a place called Porton Down, which is basically a massive experimental testing center. It's known for working on chemical and biological weapons, as well as dealing with dangerous pathogens. The stuff that goes on in there is dark, and I mean dark. 
Starting in 1945, the government began testing nerve gas on real humans. These testings on humans went until 1989. In the end, more than 3,400 people had nerve gas tested on them. In 1953, a man named Ronald Madison died after being subjected to liquid nerve gas. Not only did they lie and say they were no longer testing the gas on humans, but they denied that the nerve gas was the cause of his death. Recently, however, it was discovered that they are now testing this gas and other dangerous weapons on animals. What else goes on in there is unknown. Like, what if they're still running unethical tests on humans? It's crazy. Starting off this countdown, we have Castle Black. Now, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might be like, whoa, Castle Black, is it named after the headquarters in the show? Well, it actually might be. This base, however, is very different. Basically, Castle Black is an American military base located in Syria. Sadly, it's not a castle at all, so the name is deceiving. But anyways, this base is for special forces operations. In fact, we only found out about it recently, after it was mentioned in documents obtained by The Intercept via the Freedom Information Act. What goes down in there is largely unknown. I actually think it's quite clever to name it after a fictional place from a very popular TV show. Because when I searched it, the first page of sites are all about Game of Thrones. So in a way, it's hidden on the web. Moving on to number nine, we have Bohemian Grove. What happens at the Grove stays at the Grove. I feel like that's the motto they go by. The Bohemian Club is this group of rich men who meet in the Bohemian Grove in California every July. Among the attendees are past and present presidents, government members, and business leaders. What goes on there is really unknown. Some say it's like a cult. And rumor has it that they perform live sacrifices there. I don't know if it's humans or animals, but that's a no from me. In 2000, Texas-based filmmaker Alex Jones and his cameraman snuck into the camp and filmed this ceremony called the Cremation of the Care. Sounds creepy and looks creepy. He caught a bunch of individuals wearing cloaks standing over a large fire doing this weird ritual. What these individuals of high power do there is a big mystery. All we know is that they're up to no good. In our eighth spot, we have Area 6. This is a top secret base that we don't know too much about. In fact, it was only discovered in 2016. Someone was on Google Earth when they spotted this weird air base in the Nevada desert. It was unnamed on Google Earth. Obviously, the government didn't want us to find it, but too late for that. After that, it was confirmed that this was a government base. This base is about 12 miles northeast of Area 51. Apparently, in 1945 to 1995, over 1,000 nuclear tests were conducted there. It's also believed to be a site used to test military drones. I mean, you can try researching all about Area 6, but not a lot will come up. That's how secretive this place is. And no matter what online articles say about this place, we will never truly know what goes on behind those closed doors. In our seventh spot today, we have Pine Gap, Australia. Located deep in the Australian outback is Pine Gap, another top secret military base. In fact, this base has been named Australia's Area 51. So this place is used by Australia and the US government and is a satellite surveillance base. The NSA uses the facility to collect internet and telephone records. We found this out back in 2013 when Edward Snowden revealed some highly classified info on the NSA and how they're spying on everyone. However, conspiracy theorists believe that this base is home to one of the most terrifying surveillance systems out there, the Echelon. We don't know for sure though, and we might never know. Moving on to number six, we have S4. Area 51 might not be home to aliens slash UFOs anymore. That's right, you heard me. So theory goes that Area 51 has moved their alien life to a new nearby base. S4. They did this because, hello, everyone believes that Area 51 has aliens and UFOs. And if it's true, they don't want anyone knowing where they're being kept. So this theory surfaced after a lot of strange activity started happening at this base. People claim to have seen UFOs flying around the base and then landing nearby. Honestly, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Also, go ahead and Google it. Go ahead, try to find information about S4. What's out there is very scarce. So the government is doing a good job of keeping this base a secret. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the unnamed base. This is another base discovered by Google Earth. Again, had it not been for Google, this base might have still been a secret. So this base is located in Saudi Arabia and is another base the US government has not recognized yet. 
It's located deep in the Arabian Desert, meaning the government really didn't want us to find it. If that's the case, then they need to have a word with Google Earth because they're just out there exposing them. Now, according to two former American intelligence officers, they thought the base was a drone center. So it could be a base for Predator and Reaper drones. There is an airstrip there, so that does make sense. But still, we don't know for sure. And you need to count how many times I say that in this video because it's true. Like, we don't know and it's freaky. Moving on to number four, we have the Wright Patterson Air Force Base. This base is said to be one of the most mysterious military bases in the US. During the Cold War, this base was where military scientists would reverse engineer Russian aircrafts. Even though the Cold War is over, the base is still in operation. They are now just moving on to other projects. What they're working on now remains a huge mystery. Some say they're building new spy planes there, or are reverse engineering foreign tech. We don't know, but rumor has it that this base is home to a lot of extraterrestrial activity. Conspiracy theorists think that this place is where scientists reverse engineer alien technology. That would be absolutely insane if that's true. So I hope it's not. Coming in at number three, we have Tolicha Peak Electronic Combat Range. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I have never heard of electronic combat until now, but this is the place where pilots get trained to deal with electronic warfare. In case of an attack, they know how to properly respond and fight back. Now, it's unknown how old this base has been around for, but it was found in images from the area dating back to 1984, so maybe around then or the 1970s. But the images were blurry, so they can't verify that for sure. And that's all we know about this base. It's so low key that it's actually nearly impossible to spot on a map. Again, even Google has barely any information out there for me. In our second spot, we have Harvey Point Defense Testing Activity Facility. That was a mouthful. Harvey Point is a military base owned by the Department of Defense. It's located near the city of Hartford in North Carolina. And apparently living near there is an absolute nightmare. People have described black helicopters constantly flying over at night. And they often see buses with blacked out windows traveling there. Not only that, someone said, and I quote, mysterious trucks haul in old limousines and haul out bullet riddled blackened ones. End of quote. Then there are the bombs. Apparently a lot of explosions go off there. Some residents wake up terrified by the noise. In fact, sometimes homes shake so much that they develop cracks. So this area is where they set off powerful explosions to apparently recreate terrorist attacks. They have been known to blow up cars, safes, I mean you get it. Retired Sheriff Julian Broughton said, and I quote, My son works there as security. But he doesn't tell me nothing, and I don't ask. Over the years, though, it has been revealed that it's also a training facility, basically spy school for the CIA, FBI, and SEALs. And in our number one spot today, we have Dulce Base. This one is the creepiest place on this list. So the small town of Dulce in New Mexico is said to have a secret underground facility where they do a number of crazy experiments. The first time someone mentioned this base was back in the 1930s. From there, the room Rumors skyrocketed. Now it's believed that there is a seven story compound beneath the city, and that's where there are human animal hybrids and human alien hybrids. Or that's where humans and aliens work together on mind control experiments. It's crazy. But those are just rumors. We're not even 100% sure if this base even exists or what. But guess what? This place is pretty close to Skinwalker Ranch. Coincidence? I think not. And there have been a number of UFO sightings in that area. Coincidence? I think not. Coming in number 10, we have the Empire State Building 103rd floor viewing room. I mean, if you want to see the whole New York skyline and you don't want to break the bank on your trip to the top of the Empire State Building, and you want to grab a drink, you better believe that there's a hotel called The Standard that has all of those things. But for those of you who really want to head to the top of New York and can't do it without popping into the iconic Empire State Building, well, then I'll have you know that you're not even getting the best view. You spent all that money to go to the top of the Empire State Building only to find out that there is 
a secret room that you are not qualified to check out. There happens to be a 103rd floor that you can't get to. This helps the rich and famous see the whole city without tourist crowds. Now I'm sorry, but just going to the front desk and asking if you can get there isn't enough. You actually have to be someone of status. Unless you're very rich, very famous, or a government official, you are not going anywhere near the 103rd floor. I'm sorry, but you're just not important enough. The government and the people who run the building don't want you going up to that floor because it's going to lose its attraction. I'm sorry, but you're gonna be stuck on the 102nd floor, looking up, wondering which important people are hovering above you. Coming in at number nine, we have the Mount Rushmore Vault. Now, this next one is going to sound like it was pulled out of a comic book, but I will let you know that it is 100% real. Behind Abraham Lincoln's head on Mount Rushmore is a secret tunnel that leads to a massive room that is full of US documents. Like, come on. I remember Team America World Police, they had a secret base in Mount Rushmore, but this couldn't be the truth. But would I lie to you? This was actually the original vision of the man who built Mount Rushmore. And can I just say for a moment that this is probably the most patriotic thing that anyone has ever done? I mean, you could put a flag in your front yard, but that is nothing compared to the amount of work that went into building faces of some of the most famous presidents in America into the side of a mountain. But inside this vault are some government documents. Now, what's on those documents? No one really knows. It could be anything. They could be extremely valuable. It could be the Declaration of independence, or it could be just a bunch of boring files that don't really mean anything. And you are not going to get invited into this vault unless you have some sort of government power. Coming in at number eight, we have the Lehman Brothers Secret Times Square building. When you look at all of the massive buildings in Times Square, you probably think that rent must be super high to have a spot in one of those buildings. Well, you would be right, but there is something that is even more valuable than renting the space. It's ads. If every building in Times Square is covered in ads because companies will pay out the butt to have all their stuff promoted up there. And the Lehman Brothers saw this as an opportunity and decided that was all they needed for their building. One of the centerfold buildings in Times Square is owned by the Lehman Brothers and there is nothing in it. If you were to walk around inside this building, you would literally just have open spaces and dangling wires. The whole thing just acts as a massive billboard and it's probably very profitable because they don't need to worry about any building upkeep. Coming in at number seven, we have Ni Hao Hawaii. How big could a secret room be? Well, how about 70 square miles? Well, this one isn't so much a room, but it is very much an island and it is definitely a secret that the government is trying to keep secret from everyone. This place is closed off to visitors. It is a self-sufficient island that only has 130 people living on it, and although the people are allowed to leave, no one is allowed to enter outside of medical services. There are some very strict rules on this island. For one, there is no booze. Just so you know, you wouldn't be able to sneak on the island and have a big party. The people there aren't really into that. Also, there are no guns, which is probably a good thing, but again, it brings down how much excitement there will be at any given time. And this place has chosen a way of life that is very different from our own. They don't have any plumbing, they have no traditional roads, and everything in terms of food is taken from the land by farmers and brought to the people. They do have electricity, however. All of that comes from solar panels, but they do not have internet. So you're going to have to get very good at talking to people. What a scary thought. Coming in number six, we have the Eiffel Tower apartment. If you go to Paris, you can now see what would be the most expensive apartment in the whole city, and that is the Eiffel Tower apartment. The man who built the Eiffel Tower didn't only do it so he could have his masterpiece be the center of attention. No, he wanted to have the best apartment maybe in the world. At the top of the Eiffel Tower is an apartment that only could be accessed by one man who built the Eiffel Tower himself. Gustav Eiffel. Now, people can go visit, but that isn't even the most secret part of this secret room. There's also something that is underneath one of the legs of the Eiffel Tower, and that is a military bunker that can prep troops in the heart of the city without the enemy catching on. Could you imagine a bunch of French troops popping out of the base of the Eiffel Tower? You have to admit, the French have a way with theatrics. Coming in at number five, we have Club 33. Here's something that the super rich and the government want to keep hidden from you, and even with me telling you about it, there's a good chance that you still won't be able to afford the entrance fee. See, Club 33 is something that is hidden away in Disney World. We all know that Disney World is a place where kids come to have their dreams come true, but the kids aren't roaming around free. 
they're running around with their parents, who, after a long day in the sun taking care of Rugrats, probably want a drink. Turns out, you can't get booze when you're at Disney World, but you can if you're part of Club 33. This is a members-only club that is somewhat a high rollers lounge. Only the best of the best can join. You need a recommendation to get in, and on top of that, if you can get accepted, you have to pay a $25,000 membership fee, and then $12,000 annually each year after that. It's very much a status symbol. Some suspect that Club 33 has something to do with Jesus or the devil, since we all know that number 33 has strong religious connotations. I don't know if that's true, but if you're blowing your money at Disney World in that amount, you're probably in the Illuminati. Coming in number four, we have the secret train station under Waldorf Astoria. In movies, high-ranking government officials always have some sort of secret underground transportation that they can use to get around, and some of you think that that couldn't be a real thing in real life. There's no way that something like that could exist. Well, think again. Under one of the most famous hotels in New York, a hotel known as the Waldorf Astoria, there is a train station that is only used by the president himself. This is partly because almost every president has stayed there ever since its inception, but it's also one of the most secure ways for the president to travel. No one can get down there, and even if they did, there is a ton of secret features that the rail car has. For all we know, this thing could be built like a Bond car and have heat-seeking missiles that come through the headlights. Coming at number three, we have Room 39. This is one of the most secret places in North Korea, which is already a very secretive place. No one really knows what goes on in Room 39, but people suspect that government workers work in there to try and create revenue for North Korea through illegal activity. Thought that they could be cooking and organizing the distribution of crystal meth, and they are also finding ways to commit billions of dollars in insurance fraud. That is wild. Going at number two, we have the Vatican Bunker. Now, this isn't a place where the Pope can go to hide out if the world starts to end and because he was right about Armageddon. I mean, they probably have a room like that, but it won't be as exciting as the one I'm about to tell you about. The Vatican Bunker is a place where they keep all the files that have been held in the Vatican for centuries. We're talking about 1,200 years of paperwork. I mean, I think you could fit most of that stuff onto a hard drive, so I don't know why they're still doing the whole pen and paper thing, but to each their own. But the Vatican archives have all of the juicy details about everything the church has done for a long, long time. You better believe that all of this information is closed to the public. In fact, if you ever get access to this secret bunker, you have to be a high-ranking scholar, and you can only look through certain folders. The Pope will vet everything that an outsider has access to before they are allowed into the bunker. And there is a hard cutoff. Anything that is younger than 75 years old, there is zero access to. That is a hard and fast rule that only the Pope can break. And even with probably the most accepting Pope of all time, he isn't about to let any of this information slip. But there is a lot of people who want to get their hands on those files with all the problems the church has been getting into in recent years. I can't go into details on this channel because it's disturbing, but either you know what I'm talking about or you're going to go look it up right now. And coming in at the number one spot is Area 51. Come on, this has to be number one. What is going on in Area 51? Now, is this a room? Well, kinda, it's an indoor facility, so there is a room in there somewhere, I'm sure. But the whole thing has to be the biggest place that the government is hiding from us. And what is going on in there? We have no idea. I think we could all say aliens, that's probably what we're all thinking, but there could be some tech that will change the world. They could have mech suits in there that are like the ones from Pacific Rim. Just let us in already and we'll stop messing around with the stock market, I promise.